you'll start with picking what we call picking sediment. We'll teach you what bone looks like, how it feels, uh, the textures that it can take. You'll learn what that looks like inside the lab. And then if you move from picking, which is simply looking through a microscope and finding small, tiny critters, if you can find those bones, then you're more likely going to be able to find something larger, which is what it takes to come out to the field. If you want to stay in the lab, you stay in the lab, and you maybe move up to cleaning and uh, reconstructing fossils, uh, if that's what you want to do. And some people just want to pick the whole time here. If you get good enough and you move up and you start reconstructing fossils and you're doing a really good job cleaning and consolidating, then you will be asked if you want to to come out and operate in the field with us because it takes a lot of experience and a lot of know-how to uncover a fossil out here because you got to know what it looks like and you got to know what you're doing. Uh, there are a lot of rocks out here and there are a lot of fossils out here. You got to know the difference between rock and fossil and when you're using one of those little square trowels when you hit something you should be able to tell the difference between a rock and a fossil almost always and that comes like I said with experience that you learn inside the lab but it is possible as a volunteer it takes a lot of time it takes a lot of training but it is possible as a volunteer to come outside and actually dig uh, with the, the field crew during the summer and is it true that you're familiar with this process because you yourself did it right I am myself started as a volunteer uh, I worked in the lab with Jeff he's been here since I've been here and uh, I came out to the field and was trained in the field and I've stayed here since. So it took a lot of training for me uh, to actually get to this point. A lot of training. Hey, my name is Brett Woodward. I'm the collections manager here at the Gray Fossil Site. Um, and as Brian said, once the fossils are excavated from the field, they go into the lab to be prepped, consolidated, glued, cleaned, etc. And then if the fossils don't go on display somewhere, they come in here, which means about probably 95 to 98% of the fossils end up in here. Very few fossils actually end up on display, basically because a lot of them just, quite frankly, aren't pretty enough to go on display. Okay? Most, of, most of what we get are very small bone fragments, chips, you know, things like that. That's the majority of what we have in here. This is basically the research collection. So when a researcher wants to uh, study the fossils, they come in here. Uh, this room is uh, highly secure. We don't let too many people in this room. Um, and it, it's just for security's sake. Um, we don't like the fossils just to get up and walk out of the room. We, we keep them pretty controlled in here. The room itself is uh, noisy. You, you can hear our HVAC system running constantly. We like to keep the room at about 70 degrees and about 50% humidity. The big room like this, it's hard to do, but we try to keep it that way. Um, all those things negatively affects fossils. We don't like the humidity to, to range too much. Too humid, the fossils absorb the moisture. Uh, too dry, the fossils will crack and turn to dust. So we, we like to keep it pretty, pretty stable. Uh, the lighting is also controlled. Um, the UV is filtered out of the lights. So uh, UV also negatively affects fossils. So we, uh, we keep that controlled also. Uh, the cabinets themselves are uh, they're fire and uh, flood resistant, hopefully, never have to test that theory, but uh, they're designed to last for a very, very long time. The floor is reinforced, hopefully one day we'll be able to put in compaction storage in this room to uh, maximize our space in here. Seems like a big room, uh, but considering we've only been digging here for mm, less than 10 years now. Um, we are filling up quickly. Okay, so um, in in another 10, 15 years, we'll be completely maxed out in this room. So uh, we will be looking to expand that.